Well, we, we post a bet a uh, few months ago when we bet on a new uh, budget law and we are pretty positive that there will be good effects on the Italian economy. So it's an expensive, it's an, are expensive measures, very different than the economical recipes that were used by the last government. They were always saying that we, uh, that we will, would have grown in a, in a way and the previsions, the forecasts were always mistaken. So we changed the recipe and we are still very positive that the results will be good. Of course, we are in an economical and international economical situation that is not easy. So this has to be on, on the table, of course. You talk about it as a bet, and that's not the first time an Italian politician has talked to me about this being a gamble, in a sense. No, not a gamble. Not a gamble, <laughs> but you know what I mean. The, 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 the finance minister, Giovanni Tria, he essentially seemed to say to me not so long ago that if this doesn't work, we'll be open to changing this recipe. When does that decision get made? When do you have successive quarters of contraction or close to zero growth where Five Star in particular will say, OK, this stimulus idea that we have, it's clearly not working. We're going to change our, our recipe. Of course, we will see during the next month what will be the effects. Most of the measures that we put in the, in the budget law will produce results in the second part of the year because we'll start from the next month to be in the, in, in the, Italian, uh, in the Italian law system, the Italian framework. So uh, we, will be, uh, we will be seeing if the results that we hope to achieve will be achieved in the second part of the year or at the end of the year. But what I, will, what I want to say is that the responsibility of politicians when things don't work and the last recipes asked for the European Commission, the austerity measures and all those, all those framework that was imposed by the European Commission didn't work, put Italian behind the forecast, the, for, the growth forecast that they, were, that they were saying. So we had to change recipes. This is the responsibility of politics. We have to do something to change the, the trend. I know it's only been six months, but can't the European Commission, can't people like Pierre Moscovici, Valdis Dombrovskis turn around and see, say to you guys, we told you it wasn't going to work? Can I say something? Of course. Both uh, Moscovici and Dombrovskis are representing a European Commission that was appointed, that was appointed in 2014 from governments in a, in, a, in a political situation that's completely different now. I doubt that Moscovici, when, when, when he talks, when he points a finger, is, a part, is an impartial person representing the European Commission. His interest on being on board in, the, in, his, future, in his political future. And I don't think that what he says is really credible. OK, that's quite an accusation. Let me ask you, though, after May, after this next round of European parliamentary elections and what that means to the Commission's constitution in the future, do you think, do you hope, that the Commission will have a different attitude towards Italy? The European Commission has to have a completely different attitude towards all the countries of the European Union because the, uh, the measures that they imposed, for example, to Greece, produce a, a disaster that is not acceptable in the future. What I hope, what we are sure that will happen, is that the next European Commission will work for the people of Europe and not for some big interest, big economical or financial interest, be, uh, letting people, uh, people outside of the game. This was, this was what happened. One final quick question for you, though. So if we have a conversation in a year's time, after that new Commission, you're pretty confident that there won't have been the kind of budget fight we saw over the last few months. Absolutely, I, I, I'm, I'm completely confident and, I, and I'm sure we will be speaking about that with a smile next year. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.